Basketball season is here. Eric Woods, I'm Caleb Jower. We're here at the Daily Beacon in Thompson Bowling Arena, where Tennessee just blew out Tennessee Tech 80 to 42 to kick off this 2023-2024 basketball season. Slow offensive start and a lot of players sick apparently, <laughs> but at the end of the night, end up getting it done. Eric, what was your biggest takeaway from tonight's win? I mean, there's no lack of shooting on this team. That's that's the biggest thing. Is um, offensively, this team is looking really good. I will say. Um, there are there are a couple of those moments where, like you said, slow start. There's there's those moments where, in an instant, they just turn it on and it, it they can't be stopped. The I think if I were to take something bad or quote unquote bad from this game, which it's early in the season, but um, I mean there's just those stretches where you can't really seem to get anything in. Still, it's early in the season still, but it is something that <laughs> you see under Rick Barnes. And but yeah. all in all. Good performance. Not you can't really ask for much better in your season opener. And I wonder if that stretch today, Eric and Rick Barnes kind of talked about it a little bit. Today was the first time they had the full team together because mm-hmm. Kate Phillips was oh, a lot yeah. of the summer. Cameron Carr concussion. Santiago Vescovi had to go home. Zakai Ziegler's just getting back. He made his debut tonight. <coughs> so you wonder if maybe that was just sort of the reason why they're try- still trying to get going, still trying to get rolling. Mm-hmm. And once they got going, though, they took off. Oh, yeah. I mean, Dalton Connect finished the night with 17 points. Want to make sure there's a stat issue. <laughs> yes, yes, 17, 17 points. points. So his points didn't change. <laughs> and then Josiah Jordan James tripped him 12. Jordan Ganey with 14. Yep. So Jordan Ganey ended up being the second high, second highest scorer after the stat correction. <laughs> so, and I mean that's what we expected when you yeah. watched the game because Jordan Ganey knocked in two t- middies, two mid jumpers, to get that run going, break a two minute scoring drought, and then Don't Connect hit a trio of threes back to back to back. And from there, I think I think I wrote my story. They outscored Tennessee Tech. I want to say the number was thirty to six, mm-hmm. leading into halftime in that final ten minutes yeah. before the half. So the offense is there, like you said. It just took a second to get there. Something I found out, thought that was interesting, is Tennessee Tech's head coach following the game. And Tennessee Tech has been a common opponent with Tennessee. Their coach has coached all over the SEC. Been in TV. Knows mm-hmm. Rick Barnes. He said that this Rick Barnes team is different from any he's seen just because of that shooting. Yeah. And I feel like that shooting with Dalton Connect, and we saw him tonight for the first time with Santiago and Zakai. I feel like that shooting is what can make this team go from that sweet sweet 16 ceiling to breaking through to maybe a final four oh, yeah, championship. For sure. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but for the past couple of years, the only the only like knockdown shooter has been San, Santiago yeah. Vescovi and, and Zakai I, every once in a while. Yeah, Zakai he gets is he, if he's high, he's he's really good of course, yeah. but he's not you also have the stretch where he can't can't seem to hit anything yeah. and um, that's that's not a it's not a knock on him. It's just you don't it take there's just there's something different you need to be a knockdown shooter. You either have you either have it or you don't. Mm-hmm. That's it's just plain and simple. Some people they find a way to be like they go between thirty and thirty five percent, which is solid. But um, I think Santi is the only guy who shot forty percent, which forty percent is a hard hard clip to it's a hard clip to hit, of course. But yeah. then, but I mean Jordan Ganey in his college career he's shooting forty percent. Don't connect as near that, and you just you just have knockdown shooters all around, and that just um, I, th- I think that's going to eventually eliminate those like five-minute long offensive yeah. lapses. And it feels like when those offensive lapses hit that it's not gaining or connect that's shooting the ball. Mm-hmm. I don't, I, yeah. I'll have to go back and watch the game, which I'll do probably later tonight. But the first part of this game, it felt like when they were having those offensive struggles, you weren't getting connect those open looks. Mm-hmm. Jordan Ganey was not involved in the offense. He was actually on the bench, which he talked about yeah. getting to see the offense through different lens and getting to see the game through different lens coming off the bench. Jordan Ganey also hasn't practiced and. I guess it'd be three or four days now. I don't have a calendar in front of me, but he's dealing with a sickness. Mm-hmm. Tobey Awaka was also dealing with sickness. And he said, uh, Rick Barnes said Jordan was super tired after he first came into the game, yeah. which is when he sparked that run. But then he hit a second win and got going. So I think we're saying all this, it is the first game of yeah. the year. <laughs> and they go to Wisconsin on Friday. Mm-hmm. But I do think that shooting is what can help this team For break sure. through the ceiling. I think we've hit it all. I want to keep yeah. it quick for basketball. You got anything else to add? I mean, the main thing is there's there's still a lineup issue. Yeah. Um, that's going to happen with sickness injury. I don't know. I, I we've talked about it. I don't I don't know how I feel about Jamai running the point or anything, but I mean, it is what it is. That's not going to Z- happen. You don't have that's Zakai not going to happen late in the year. Yet. So that's just being. Yeah. And also, I mean, it's like you said, it's early in the year. I think the lineup will end up. It always figures Granted, itself out eventually. I think Jamai is a great player. Don't get me wrong. I just. 
I, think I like him. I think for his sake, he's better at the two. Yeah, exactly. Because then he doesn't have to worry about running the mm-hmm. offense. He can just worry about scoring, exactly. which is what he does. And best. he's he's great on those on those backdoor cuts. And, and we saw him run the mm-hmm. two a little bit tonight with Jordan yeah, Ganey in the game. For sure. And he got a couple buckets, mm-hmm. I believe. And he looked just more comfortable at that two spot. Exactly. So I get right. what you're saying, Eric. As for y'all, our basketball preview drops this Wednesday, and we have lots of content on there. Zakai story obviously a bunch of mm-hmm. other stories women's basketball a ton of good women's basketball stories i'm looking at two seats labeled strickland right now and we've got an avery strickland feature in there from our jack <laughs> chart so i encourage you to check out all of that content it'll be on utdailybeacon.com and it'll also be in print this wednesday which you can pick up in downtown knoxville or around campus so for eric woods i'm caleb gyro and this has been the first basketball edition of first the of daily many. beacon <laughs> podcast network <laughs>